Stelfanta, Tiglanol Tiglate Injection Administration and Mode of Action. Stelfanta is a novel anti-cancer pharmaceutical indicated for the local treatment of all grades of canine non-metastatic cutaneous mast cell tumors and non-metastatic subcutaneous mast cell tumors located at or distal to the elbow or hock. Injecting Stelfanta into these areas may result in accumulation of necrotic debris in the subcutaneous space, increasing the risk of systemic adverse reactions, including death from mast cell degranulation. There are four stages to the Stelfanta protocol, starting with concomitant medications, followed by Stelfanta injection, tumor destruction, and tumor site healing. We'll explore each in turn concomitant medications. Any manipulation of a mast cell tumor can lead to mast cell degranulation, which has the potential to cause severe systemic adverse reactions, including death. The risk is reduced through concomitant medication consisting of corticosteroids, antihistamines, and H2 antagonists. These are administered commencing two days prior to treatment. Stelfanta injection. Stelfanta dosage is calculated by multiplying the tumor length times width times height by 0.5. This gives the volume of an ellipsoid. The dosage is then calculated as 0.5 milliliters per cubic centimeter tumor volume. Stelfanta is injected directly into the tumor. Draw the calculated volume of Stelfanta into a sterile lure lock syringe. Insert the needle into the tumor mass through a single injection site. Administer the dose evenly with a fanning technique. Take care to restrict the injection to the tumor mass only, avoiding injecting into the margins or beyond the tumor periphery. Sedation may be necessary to avoid accidental self-injection. Tumor destruction. Within hours, Stelfanta initiates tumor cell oncolysis and necrosis, inducing immunogenic cell death. Activation and recruitment of neutrophils and macrophages to the site occurs to progress tumor destruction and provide antimicrobial activity. And activation of protein kinase C induces permeability of tumor vasculature. Subsequently, there is a loss of integrity of the tumor vasculature. This results in tumor destruction through hemorrhagic necrosis. Tumor site healing. Formation of wounds, possibly extensive, is an intended and likely response, along with associated swelling, bruising, and pain. These wounds are expected to heal. Typically, after a week, the necrotic tumor sloughs off and healthy granulation tissue lines the deficit at the tumor site. Occasionally, tissue sloughing may be severe, requiring additional treatment and prolonged recovery times. Excessive pain, lameness, tiredness, refusal to eat for more than one day, repeated vomiting or diarrhea, trouble breathing, changes to the treated tumor site, including increased or excessive swelling and bruising, extensive wound formation, increased irritation, or any other symptoms should be examined immediately and treated accordingly. Within four to six weeks, the wound has usually fully healed with a good cosmetic outcome. Contact your Verbac representative for more information.